from the Exports Network. This is the final score. Welcome to the final score. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off over at Lawrence County, where the Wildcats were taking on a local rival once again. But the boys and the girls took care of Giles County and Pulaski just a couple weeks ago, and they were looking to do the same thing at the Ralph tonight. Lady Cats and the Lady Bobcats meeting up at the Ralph tonight. Here in the first quarter, it's Katie Criswell getting the scoring going, knocking down the jumper. Then J.C. Scott off the skip pass from NBA range, and she's going to knock down the three-pointer. They're going to find an open Criswell down low for two. She would finish with 18 points on the night. Then Peyton Morgan off the inbound. She knocks down the jumper. Lady Cats led by 15 at the half. Here in the third, Emmy Clark on the low block, down low for two, and the foul. Then Cammie Pig here from the corner. She's going to knock down the three. Then later, it's Scott off the feed from Criswell, knocking down three of her team-high 19 points. Points. Then it's Pig going to knock down three of her nine points. So Lady Cats go on the win big, 85 to 33. Then it'd be the Wildcat boys looking for the season sweep of the Bobcats here in the first quarter. Logan Boswell from NBA range. He knocks down the three-pointer. Then Boswell, some good defense with the steal. He's going to take it to the other end for the finish and the foul. Still in the first quarter, it's Luke Maddox this time getting in on the scoring, takes his time, and he's going to bury that three-point attempt. Then later, Alex Bedford here with the drive and the finish. The Wildcats led by 13 at the half. Here in the third, opening play. They find an open TJ Gobble off the glass for two. Then Jacabry Stevenson, he's going to knock down the three. He would finish with 16 points. Then Boswell from almost the same spot. He's going to knock down the three. He would have a game-high 20 points. Then Blake Long going to pull up the nice fake and finishes with the jumper. Then Long going to drive him to the paint. Gets the runner to go. He would have 18 points on the night as the Wildcats win big, 80 to 40. Coming up next, we head on over to Summertown where the Eagles were looking to get back on the right track against Spring Hill. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com AJ Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. 
Welcome back to the final score. Now over to Summertown where the Eagles were looking to get back into the win column tonight. Both the boys and the girls were taking on Spring Hill as they is each looking for a big win over a big school. First matchup between the Lady Eagles and Spring Hill tonight over at the Nest. Here in the first corner, Emily Brazier with the drive and the finish. Then Carly Campbell going to drive the baseline and go up and under 4-2. Then later, it's Brazier. The beautiful backdoor pass to Ainsley Burleson for the layup. Then later, the pass deflected into the hands of Mia Dimwitty. She's going to go off the glass for two. The Eagles led by 12 at the half. Here in the third, in transition, Campbell with the easy finish on the other end. Then Burleson going to step back and knock down the three-pointer. Then later, Burleson off the feed. She's going to drive in the paint and go off the glass with the right hand for two. Then later, it's Dimwitty. She's going to knock down the three as the Lady Eagles cruising this one 66-34. to then it'll be the Eagle boys taking on Spring Hill as well. Here in the first quarter, Cole Campbell going to go to the rack, gets his own rebound, and the putback. Still in the first quarter, Campbell, he's going to miss, but it's going to be Kurt Burleson there to clean it up with the putback. Then later, Burleson once again, he goes down low, off the glass with the left hand for two. He would have 10 points on the night. Then Weston Pig here with the drive and the finish. Eagles led by 12 at the half. Here in the third, Grayson Burleson going to work, getting the rebound and the putback. Then Burleson on the low block. He's going to get the reverse lay in the go. He would have a game high 26 points. Then Campbell off the nice feed from Weston Pig off the glass for two of his 11 points. Then Jackson Bennett going to knock down the corner three as the Eagles going to win big 66 to 44. Also going down in Summertown this afternoon, one of the Eagles softball stars signed her name on the dotted line. Hannah Lindsay signed her national letter of intent this morning in the Summertown Library. Lindsay will stay close to home and play for UT Southern. Lindsay was a big part of the Eagles' last two runs to the state tournament, including a title in 2021. She's an all-district, all-region, and all-state pitcher for the Lady Eagles. She'll now become a Firehawk. That does it for the final score. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.